Communications Director for the Republican National Committee, Doug Hyde. Doug, good to have you. Um, wh good to what be is with the you. significance of moving aside somebody like Ronna McDaniel, who, by the way, you know, may have been seen at one time as a more moderate Republican? I mean, she used to use her middle name or her middle last name, Ronna Romney McDaniel, uh, until she became more aligned with the, the Trump side of things. Is it significant to have her move aside for somebody more aligned with Donald Trump? Well, I think, I think Garrett got the point exactly right. The move is not necessarily significant. This is what happens time and time again uh, when it's clear who a nominee is. They essentially can set the tone for the RNC or the DNC. The timing of this, obviously, um, is unusual. This is something that usually happens closer to the convention. Um, and so that is, is different here. And it highlights some of the challenges that uh, Ronna Romney McDaniel has had over the, over the past year, past few months. One, sort of running afoul uh, of the MAGA movement. Uh, two, um, some difficulty with fundraising. Also, her chief of staff, Mike Reed, who's a real pro, is, is leaving the RNC. He's been planning it for a while, but just announced it this week. So there are changes that are happening at the committee uh, regardless. What happens to the um, section of the Republican Party that doesn't feel aligned with Donald Trump or somebody who, if they are installed, might be someone who was pushing stop the steal? What happens to, to the more moderate vo voices in the Republican Party? Can they even consider themselves Republicans any longer? Well, I'd consider them more voices of realism um, and, and reality than uh, conservative or moderate. But look, there's, there's not a, a really big spot at the table for, for Republicans like that, Republicans like me. Uh, it's, it's one of the things I'm reminded of, if not every day, certainly every week. But also looking at how the committee operates, and it's something I know well, the reality is whomever Donald Trump was going to pick, whether it was Michael Watley, um, who I've known for about 20 years, I worked for Senator Burr when he was chief of staff to Senator, Burr, uh, Senator Dole, both from North Carolina. Carolina, the, who the president or the nominee picks is somebody who's going to be aligned in their value. If you're a Democrat in 2012 uh, and said Obamacare was terrible for our midterm elections, you probably weren't going to head the DNC. If you said that George Bush was wrong about the Iraq war in 2006, the Bush administration probably wasn't going to put you forward for the RNC. Obviously, what we're dealing with with stop the steal and election denialism and everything is a, a bridge that I think a lot of people never thought we'd get to. But it tells you where the Republican Party is right now. And that's Donald Trump is going to put somebody who conforms with his worldview. That's just the reality, unfortunately. Uh, Doug Hyde, Doug, good to have you. Thank you very much. Thank